Oh, that's a long shot. And he fell on the dog. Oh, no. Oh, no. Quick. Let's get out of there. Seven's in trouble. Oh, no. G'day, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Got a mule deer in the water. I'm going to ignore it. It is ignored every call I've done. But check this out, man. Wait. Come on, do it. Look. There's a Rocky Mountain elk female under the water. We've got our mule deer there. There's a Rocky Mountain. Oh, that's crazy. Female under the water. So, yeah, we're at uh, Timbergold Trails, which is sort of like a cross between Yukon and Silver Ridge Peaks, I'd imagine. Have a bit of water around. There's some lakes. And you can see you've got a big river. Oh, no! Oh, no! Ways here. Got a few lakes. That's pretty dry, actually, that lake there. One here, one here, a few small ones. And as you can see, I've put up a few more tents. Stands, tree stand, double tree stand there. A double stand there. And that's where your sheep and ptarmigans are up there. So hopefully today we can get something good. That mule deer is... I have no idea now where that's gone. Maybe went under the water with the elk. Anyway, we're going to keep moving so that we can find... We do, down here we have grey wolf, we have grizzly bear, we have rocky mountain elk, and we have mule deer. And up in the hills, <laughs> you got the, oh, is it mule deer coming back? It is, we might be, might be able to get a shot at this guy. I thought he was going to ignore me. Got the dog today. In case I wound something and it runs off, she can track it down for us. Hey, he's going to pop out, look. Let's have a look at him. He's only average. He's not very big at all. But I'll take it. It's what, maybe you get 50 GM? Or 30, something like that. You might get a lot, but you get something. He's not super far. Got the ballpup on me, which has a 7mm Magnum bullet. I have the 10G shotgun bow and arrow and a pistol and we got us a dead mule deer man we'll go over and pick that up let's stand press C for run go over and check out oh something ran off there maybe it was the female elk coming out of the water yeah it was there she goes I have saved her life she would have drowned what a crazy thing hey I couldn't believe it. I was looking at this uh, mule deer and I could see this thing glowing under water. What is that? Yeah, a female elk. Insane. Alright, where's our boy? Couldn't have passed him, have I? He's right on the bank here. Oh, here is this him? There he is. You can see he's not very big. Oh, we better pick him up before he floats off. Alright, 100% integrity, we hit the spine, which is usually not good, <laughs> should hit the lungs. Oh, we're going to get 70, so that is pretty cool, and it gives me 10th in the heavy hitter. I was about 20th, so it's lifted me a bit, I need a couple of more really huge, huge uh, mule deer to get anywhere in that competition, but I have gotten a few really nice ones here before. So we're going to keep our eyes open, we're going to make our way down this way. And hopefully run into some grizzly bear as well. Love those things. Oh man, check that one out across there. That's not bad. Oh, we got two. There's a small one. Blue with the big one at the back, man. Look at the antlers on that thing. No, I'm just going to get this side of it. Like it is across the river. So we're fine with wind and sound and everything that goes along with that. Yeah, that's a nice one. That'll bring me up in the competition a bit. Look, 150 to 200. I'd say it's probably, you know, 150, 170. Then I have a little male there. So I'm going to go the big one here. Yeah, it's not a bad one. We'll shoot him and then we'll cross. So I'll give him another holler here. Dogs, look at the dog. You gotta watch her. All of the dogs are along the water. They'll end up 
having to swim when you're not looking. I used to have a Labrador that would do that. We'd go fishing and it'd just swim past there. They're like, what are you doing, dog? I'm fishing here. They'd be <laughs> swimming out there in the lake. It was funny as. All right, so they're both together. We've got one there, one there. I mean, I don't want to lose him in the bushes there. So what we're going to do is try and snaffle him from here. All right, no zeroing on these guns. All right, he's down. Got him a beauty. His mate's off. I'm not going to worry about the friend because, uh, yeah, too small. So, yeah, he's down right about there. So we can actually... Can we put a dot with this again? How do we do that? Look at the map. Did it put a dot? Yes, it did. Right across there. Put a dot with the binoculars. I wish they'd do that in the call of the wild. So we're going to make our way slowly across and we'll end up picking him up. As you can see here, the river is starting to get a bit narrower. And you'll find wolf, mule deer and uh, grizzly bear along this river. And elk, of course. So yeah, let's, let's get over there. Alright, we crossed the river. I don't know where my dog is. Is that over there swimming? I keep kidding me. Okay, you can see it for yourself. The dog decided not to cross with me. It did a bit and then it's just swam off down the river. Alright, so here's our mule deer. Not a bad one. This is a sort of decent one compared to some of them. So, we'll get behind it to pick it up. I might take a trophy shot with her. Oh, with him. All right, left flung, shoulder blade, heart man. 92 GM I'm going to get, and it's a 193. So, let's see if this brings me up in that competition. Oh, still 10 in heavy hitter. Okay, so... Oh, dear, I forgot to take a trophy shot. So, we'll just sell it. Not a problem. And here comes me dog. Finally. Out of the, out of the river. We've got a couple of mule deer. I think one is on this side. One is just down here. The one down here, I think, is tiny. It just called. Oh, that's a tiny one, man. I haven't seen the other one. So I don't know how big it is. Oh, there it is there. There's the other one there. It's just walked behind a rock. Pop out. I just saw it's back. And the other one is right here somewhere. But I'm not that interested in that one. Let's give this one another little call. Oh, there it is, there it is. How big is it? Yeah, it's bigger than the, the one I'm looking at by the river here. Look, see that one there? Tiny. We're going to go this one. All right, I've only wounded it, so dog gets to uh, <laughs> give it a chase, man. All right, let's get over here. You've got to pull out your hunter, mate. There's a dog. All right, let's, usually should just come, but I'll make it come. There I go. Off we go. Got some tracking to do. It's up to level 11 now. I had, I had to track a bear the other day that I gut shot. So that, that took a while. What did we hit? The body. So you get her track. Come on, girl. Check the blood. There you go. She'll have a sniff. And then it's, uh, we'll slowly follow her. And see where she goes. Now I must have hit this. I was aiming at a side lung shot. I think I've hit it probably in the chest. So, there she is fleeing, or he fleeing. Dog's after it, got a bit more blood. So, I'll follow the dog, and as we get closer, we'll check it out. Okay, she's barking up here. When she's found it, good girl. We had to track it a fair bit, actually. Can we see it on the map? Alright, well, right back here at the river we were. So, we're up here in the hills. She's barking over here. See the green dot on the Hudson, mate? That's her. 
Ah, he's our mule deer. Oh no, it's still alive, mate. Let's check it out. It hasn't died. It's actually might have hit it in the back. And we paralyzed it. So this will be uh yeah, not too happy. So all we gonna do is just finish it off. Sorry, bud. Okay, what happened? Oh, there you go. Alright, let's pick it up. We'll never get the arrow back. Oh, we hit the body the first shot. Oh, we're only going to get 69. And look at that. Wound time was 10 minutes, 4.2 seconds. And it would have... See, the f time from the first wound to death. Yeah, lower is better. So that was very high. So let's pick it up. And we're going to get 70 GM. So not too bad. Oh man, check that out. Nice elk. Alright, I've got a competition where you stand up and you've got to shoot it with the 454 or any pistol, really. Did we hit it? I'm hoping we did. Let's go down. Okay, yeah, could have went the arrow, could have went the. <laughs> The shotgun or the... Oh, we've hit it. I can see blood. Now, the dog gets the track again, which is good. Like I said, she is... Her name is Seven. She's level 11. <laughs> At the moment, she's 7-Eleven. We're going to have to change that. Oh, it's only a body hit, maybe. Yeah, man. Oh, where's my dog? What happened to the dog? Oh, here she is. Wait, here she is. Come here, come here, girl. So, get her to sniff. That 454, the gun I used is called the Alpistoni. It's a good grizzly bear gun. Like, it kills them beautifully. I probably should have attached the scope to it, but I usually don't bother with a pistol. So, we're going to let her track, and hopefully we can uh, track down this elk, man. There it is, man. It is uh, been injured. Look, once again, didn't die. Let's get up. It didn't bleed a lot. And the dog had a bit of a problem tracking it. So I've been just using the old uh, hunter, mate. Let's run down. Have a look. I don't like when this happens. And it will lay here for a fair while before it dies. So, to fix that, look at it. Let's have a look at him. Hello. Say hello to all the folks out there. Great. Man, that's a beauty, isn't it? 300 to 490. Look, we've hit it in the back. So I was aiming a bit high. And it's probably hit the spine, which has wounded it. And now it's paralyzed. Something that can't happen. In the call of the wild. Oh, there's, there's no doubt this 454 is a, a massive <laughs> killing gun. Oh, let's get behind it here. Like right, this. And I might take a trophy shot. Alright, 57. See, it, it, the wound time is bad, and the first shot was in the body. It was a 319. Nice. Oh man, why did you move like that? Alright. Go to... No, hang on. Spin it around. Now, I'm going to put the pistol in my hand. Because that's what we shot it with. And drag the body here. Uh, I want you to sort of... Oh, my God. All right, give me a minute. There we go. This is better. So, we've got the dog, the elk, and me. <laughs> with the pistol in the photo. And... There it is. Look at that. That is beautiful. Let's accept it. And there we go. Only 57. That should have paid more, but the bad shooting is what uh, is what broke that. Man, here we go. This is the two-person tripod stand. It's portable. They carry it on you. You've got to take some of your equipment out and fit it in. It is heavy. So I'll put a tent just over there. And have a look at it. Not bad. Like, you could buy a tower 
but you got more visibility in this. The only problem is you're locked in the position once in there. But you do get a good field of view right around you. We're going to come back here and get the dog to sit down and lay down. Come here, girl. Where are you? Oh, that'll be right there. We'll get her to sit. There you go. Now, lay down. I'll show you when we get in. You just use the E button, just like a tree stand. So, hold E, and we'll get in. As you can see now, I'm in crouch mode, so I just hit shift to stand up. But see, I can't walk in there. I'm locked into this position. But it's a really, look at that, a 360 field of view. Yesterday I was here, and I got four elk within, I don't know, probably half an hour to 40 minutes, and they were all male elk. We had a fair few female hanging around. And I had a grizzly bear walk right in front of me there, so I chased it and shot that. And then I did have a wolf actually howl out there and I give it the squeaker toy this one the injured sort of or it's like a fawn caller like for a bear but it works for the wolf and it came right in and I shot it so we'll sit back here a little bit and see if I can call an alcohol to in what is the time oh well, you never know midday something might happen oh man I just saw it hasn't made a noise it has come up behind us have a look oh it's behind the tree now it's another male. Not a bad one. Well, let's try this handgun thing again. Because I think you've got to kill it outright with the handgun while you're standing. Come on, come and be closer, bud. I think the wind's good. The leaves are falling towards me, I think. Looking at them coming off the tree. They should be fine there. He looks like he's by himself. Sometimes they will come up in pairs. Or there'll be three of them. Oh man, man, where you going? Oh, that's a long shot. And he fell on the dog! Oh no! Oh no! Quick, let's get out of there. Seven's in trouble. Hey, poor little dog. What are you doing? There she is. You alright, mate? Sorry, I didn't mean it. It happens. Hey. I hope this competition has started. I didn't check if it had started or not. Alright, let's see. All right, right lung, left lung, liver. So we hit all the right bits. We're only going to get 60. It's a 3-3-2. Three, three, hey, I don't think this uh, competition started somehow. All right, so let's go here. Let's put the pistol in our hand. 2,000 years later. Oh, look at that. There we go. Another nice solve for the day. And I don't think this uh, competition started, so I'm going to shoot them with the bow and arrow. From now on, and there we go, 60 GM. Not too bad. Oh man, got a wolf here. They were barking. Oh, howling. I thought I'd give it a bit of a toot. I missed it. It's down, down, we got it. Beautiful. Let's go find out what we've done. Alright. Nice, no you're tracking a girl that is just here. Did we hit the first time? Like I might have skimmed over its back. No, we hit it the first time was uh smacked it in the body. It's a nice red one. I like the colours of these, or brown. For a grey wolf. Let's have a look. There we go. And these things won't attack you. No, they're bigger than your dog though. They are bigger than dog. They can circle the size of the head to the wolf. The girl there, the seven. Oh, we hit the left hind leg and that killed you. Wow, we man. So we're gonna get forty-five point four. That's the average size male, probably seventeen, eighteen, upwards of that. They're pretty big. Yeah, not bad. See, and in our little stand here. I like the tripod stand. I'm enjoying it. So we'll get the dog to come back over and get her to sit and lay down. And we'll continue the hunt. Where are you, girl? Come here. Oh, you have to make you sit where you don't... <laughs> Elks don't fall on you. All right? And lay down. Good girl. What do you think of the tripod? 1,400 and... 
fifty or something. I don't know. It was like fourteen hundred bucks. So pretty sure that was the price in GM. I don't mind it. Man, you got a wolf up there. We're back. I've started a new game. So we're at a new area here now. We're here. I've, got a, I've put a tower up there. I've got a tent here. I've got a tree stand there. That's the bridge there that crosses the river. It's just there. So let me get this wolf to come back. Oh yeah, look at it. It's coming down. It's not a bad one. Male. Just look. Can you see it good? Oh yeah, not too bad. Give it a slam in the tick. Be easy to find up there. through the back into the lungs hopefully let's grab the dog because once you as soon as you there it is sitting at the tent as soon as you start a game the dog will just sit there and it won't come to you it won't follow you unless you say come here all right so let's find our wolf we don't have to track it so we'll just get around the map a bit i like this area you get elk bear wolf mule deer again all around here We got a few grizzly bears around here. Hopefully we'll run into one or two. I love them. You see how long the grass is once you get here. All right, there it is. Nice male. All right, oh. Oh, we're going to get 46. That's not bad. It was 15.7. They're pretty cool. We're going to get... Oh, that gives me number one in top grey wolf intermediate. Okay, very nice. And we're going to sell that for 47 GM. Man, look at all the wolves over there. Look, one, two, there was about another four at the back. They do roam in big packs here. They will not attack. <laughs> and they may not cross the river to come to this sound. So you can see any hanging around there, but I think that they were running. Oh, uh, well, we will wait and see, but I think... Oh, just nice to see them, that many of them running. So they could cross there, but they're not gonna. Here we go. There's one at the back. Here's a lone wolf, or she. I might be able to get her to come. I'll squeak away here, and we'll see what happens, but once again, I think she's on the wrong side, just double check, yeah, see, she can cross right there, and we can shoot her while she's crossing, just double checking these other wolves, no, they are gone, I think, unless they pop up there somewhere. She's right near the crossing. I'll keep calling her. Still pretty far away, man. Well, she's come out into the water. See, she can cross right there, and that's the land just down there. So we might have to wait till she gets pretty close there. We'll give her a hit in the lungs. There's nothing else around at the moment. It's good to see wolf, actually. I've done a video on uh, wolf locations for this map. And this was one of them around here. You work the rivers, and they will come out. Oh, let's get the gun now. The old bull pup. It's a beautiful gun. Wish we had this in Call of the Wild. As you can see, you can hold 10 bullets. There she is, she's a good girl. I'm gonna wait so she's not, you know, in deep water. I think it, it'd be fine, I could cross there. All right, space bar to hold the breath on this. <laughs> not shift, every now and again I do make a mistake. Come on, girl. 
So you can see the wolf caller works really well on this game. Alright, she's down. Might go down and pick her up. Alright, here's our little girl. She was a lone wolf. She wasn't with them other ones. By now, even if they were coming, would have nicked off now. There you go, look at her. Let's see if we can get our dog near it. So you can see the difference in size. Even the females, look, that's a female, my dog there. Look at the difference in size, man. These things are huge compared to a normal dog. All right, we hit the left lung liver and through the shoulder blade. Uh, 15.2 for 32. We have 32 GM, not too bad. Look at that, just notice there's a big bear over there. It's a female. I we'll have to pop her off as well. You know what it's like, man. Hit her in the back. Oh, missed that. She's down, she's down, I think. Could be paralyzed. This could be. See a bear paralyzed. I've never seen that before. Let me run around. We'll find out what is going on. Yeah, here's the blood. Look. I'll get her to um, track it, see how long it takes her. The bear's just in there somewhere, it's coming up. You tracking it, girl? Is it too close? Where is it? It's in here. Oh, look. I think it's alive. Yeah, so I can't pick it up, so it's still alive. It's like unconscious and paralyzed or something. Uh, well, 454. Uh, it's uh, dead now. Sorry about that, bear. Let's see where the first bullet hit it. Yeah, it hit the spine, look, and paralyzed it. And then look what the, the rhino done, or the equivalent to the rhino. Smashed it, hit the left lung, intestine, and the liver. And we're only going to get 17. Are you kidding me? No, you're not kidding me, man. Uh, I got another L coming in. I have moved now across the other side of the map where we get. There's a few of them, man. Elk, uh, wolf, and grizzly around here. Oh, there's two over there, I think. And there's another one back up that way. I've had a few call. I'll put out a call and they all just start answering. There's one. Is there another one behind it? I'm going to try and bow and arrow it. Nah, that's not a bad one. Look at that. That's sort of average <laughs> for here. It's not, you know, it's big, but it's not huge. But it's nice. Oh, yeah, there's another one there. I knew there was another one. Oh, that's bigger. That is way bigger. I don't know what's going to happen here. We'll give another call. Oh, he's right there. I need him to come in closer. And then that one, not to hear it and just keep walking around. Come on, come in between them trees there. So he still might be far enough away, he won't hear it. I do have a quieter bow and arrow. That's not as, uh, this is the snake bot, I have the python. <sighs> but that's not as powerful. Now, did we scare the other one off? No, we didn't. It's coming in. Coming in. There it is. Alright, this one's even bigger, man. I need to give him a call, just to keep him walking. <laughs> There's no need to overcall in this game. Just call, you know, every now and again. And I'll just, as soon as it stops, give it a little call. Right, it's looking at its dead mate there. Now I've got a female coming over here. Oh, I need him. He's, that's no good where he is. That's it, come up through there. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Not to worry, we've missed him. He was wise to us. He got a bit... He came a bit different way than the other one. I still think there's one or two more coming in. But what we're going to do is head... I've got a tree stand. Double tree stand I'm going to. So we're going to head there. And usually I get wolf and elk from that. So we'll, have, we'll go there and finish the hunt off. Man, the other one that ran off was bigger than this. Look at these antlers sticking out. Eh? Hopefully we get 60 GM. Would be nice. 64. We hit left lung, right lung. We got the 100%. No wound time. That's a quick kill when you get that. No wound time. Seed time from first wound to death. Lower is better. Trophy integrity. Choosing the right caliber for the target. So if you use the wrong bullet or arrow, you'll get zero. It'll be disqualified. Increase the chances of a good result. Damage from multiple shoots. Stack. High damage leads to low trophy integrity. High trophy integrity leads to high harvest value. So that's that's a perfect shot for your highest trophy integrity. So let's see. What are we getting? 64. Oh, man. Got couple of male elks there's a wolf there as well look we're back along the river that elk there looks nice there's actually three male elks i can see the first one's nice and the wolf is blocking it <laughs> what is the wolf doing come on in big boy <coughs> what's my dog doing man i'm gonna call up Oh no, 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 no. Nice long shot. I don't care about the other ones. They were pretty tiny compared to her. And the wolf has run off. So my dog is <laughs> dragging a deer. I think the deer lived actually, so I might get her to stop doing that. We'll pick up our friend here. A few nice elk today. There's that bridge again over there. Now, I should be able to get to this, shouldn't I? Just around here. Oh, look at that. Look at him curling and coming out of the water, man. That was a nice one. Alright, right lung, left lung. So, nice shot. It is a 351. We're only going to get 64 for something that big, man. Damn. Look at that. We have found an Easter egg. See that little horse there? Oh, that's it. Oh. There it is there. little paper horse. Or a little plastic horse or wooden horse. This is that little town. If you look in the buildings, I think there is another Easter egg in another building. We found that one. Yeah, well, there's not too many buildings. <laughs> you can see right through this one. I think there'll be an Easter egg. You can't get... Oh, no, you can get in this one. Can you get up here? I can. Oh, wow, look at that. We are up here. Not that you can do a lot up here. It's just, you know, like a gimmick, I suppose. Bit of interaction in the game. Pretty cool. So yeah, I'm going to end, end the hunt here. We had a good day, actually. I enjoyed that. I've done that over a couple of hunts, a few hunts. Had to restart the game. So I just wanted to travel around a few different places and show you. Because it's such a beautiful map and it is big. And maybe this one has an Easter egg in it at this end. See the horse and cart? Oh, maybe not. I'm probably confused. Look at the views around here. It is beautiful, man. You've got the classic. And you went to a map you didn't like it. Try this map. It's a beautiful map. If you like SRP and the Yukon, this is a sort of mix between both of them. But yeah, no turkeys. <laughs> but if you go up into the hills, into the snowy bit, You'll get the bighorn sheep and ptarmigans. They're like pigeons. So that'd be pretty cool. I used to I hunt up there sometimes. There we go. We can get in the wagon as well. I don't need the dog to get up here. 
Oh, he's going to get stuck again. Poor dog. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that. If you want me to hunt anywhere in the classic, let me know. If you like, want to see a certain map or a certain animal, let me know and I'll try and find it for you. Or if it's just a map, we'll go over hunt. So what we find. Anyway, guys, I don't know what my dog's doing. He's be freaking out over there. We'll give her a call. Alright, she's stuck. Damn you, dog. So, get it's stuck on the wheel or something. So it gets in a corner and it just, you know, it has trouble. Anyway, maybe if I run this way, it'll do something really crazy. Oh, he's jumping up there, huh? Come on, girl, you can do it. <laughs> it's up the wall. Anyway, guys, thanks for dropping by. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you. Check out the legs on the next one. What? The dog is in the building? Come on, game. It's impossible. <laughs> That's... Oh, my God. It's... <laughs> Ah, oh, it's insane.